What's up everybody? Welcome back. Uh, I just want to give you all an update. Uh, not a whole lot of progress uh, been going on, but I just wanted to, it's been about a month I guess since I posted a video on what's going on. Uh, appreciate everybody's feedback. It looks like I can confirm I am going to put that motor, the 2.8, into the Camaro. So everybody said put it in the Camaro. Nobody said put it in the truck. So that's uh that's where I'm going with that. So it is gonna be going in the car. Uh, I got some other things I'm working on. I'm gonna give you a quick update on, on how it's going and what I have figured out so far. So basically, like I said, it's gonna go in this car. Uh, I've been working on this. Obviously the car needs a little bit of work before it's running, but uh, I've been working on this, trying to get it up and running so I can put the motor in it. Uh, I need to run some brake lines. I got pretty much the only thing I need left is the flexible hoses on each corner uh, and all that so I can put the brake lines in it. Um, I got a pedal box in here from Tilton welded in there. Uh, I got carpet for it. I'm working on that. I had to fit the carpet around the roll cage, but working on that. Originally, I was going to put this T56 in here. This is a uh, kind of a T56, but it's got the G-Force gear set, it's a dog box with the Tick Performance uh, shifter and their billet front plate. Uh, it's got the quick time bill housing on it, so it's kind of a T56, but the only stock parts or original parts is the case. Um, this was the original motor I was going to put in, it's an L83 a Gen 5 LT, um, but not going that route anymore. I was hoping I could put this transmission behind the 2.8, but the gear ratios in this thing are not favorable for for um, the diesel. So I really need to. I don't have a rear end gear in this thing yet. It's got a nine inch, but I don't have a third member for it yet. So um, I can basically put whatever rear end gear that I want to in there. But even with that, this transmission isn't going to work it's just the six gear in this thing is a 0.54 you can see the ski ratios well kind of it's tight but anyway that's fifth and sixth gear uh and the 5.4 is just way too tall i mean i'd be running like it's yeah down the highway i'd be going crazy mile an hour just to uh just to get the rpms up to where it's going to work uh with this setup so what I was wanting to do was not use that and use this guy. So it's going to go with an automatic. Uh, and I didn't want to use the 6L50 that this that comes behind these motors. So this is a 6L90 case. Um, I got the tail housing here, two-wheel drive tail housing. But this front, the bell housings on these are it's super weird um, this is you see it's, it's got all this oil on here to keep it from rusting I don't know why but it's, it's aluminum but anyway um, it's sticky and gross and I don't want to touch it but the case is a 6L90 but this front plate is a 6L80 and I don't know if you can see that part number that part number It's weird, let me show you. So, QuickTime makes this bell housing. If you didn't know, the bolt pattern, the bell housing bolt pattern, what's going on here? Sorry about that. My phone got real hot and stopped working. So, um, like I said, the bell housing bolt pattern on this is, it's not your standard small block Chevy bolt pattern. It's weird. It's actually uh, like a V6, like a newer V6 style um, bell housing bolt pattern. QuickTime actually makes a bell housing for this. This actually fits um, the Cadillac ATS Vs uh, with a 3 liter V6. and this housing adapts basically this block to a 6L80 
because this 6L80 came out of, uh, or this front cover goes on a Corvette Z, uh, C6, a C6 Corvette where the transmission is in the back and the torque converters, you know, it's all, the bell housing is short like this because the transmission goes in the back of the car. Um, so QuickTime just made this bell housing to adapt that. The problem is it doesn't bolt up. So like I said, still working on it, <laughs> but I just want to give you guys an update and show you where I'm at and what I'm working on. Also the flex plate, if you look, the crank, it's an eight bolt crank. And I was hoping, I was just curious, wondering, I was like, oh, this is an eight bolt crank. Maybe we'll see if this bolt pattern is the same as like, like a ZL1, you know, Camaro or something, or the, the LSAs that have the eight bolt cranks, like the LS motors that have a eight bolt crank or like the Gen 5 LTs all have eight bolt cranks. I was like, maybe this is the same. So I bought, I knew the, size of this flex plate is obviously wrong but i bought a gen 5 lt flex plate to measure this uh, eight bolt crank this is the stock one this is the one that came off this motor you can see obviously the size difference but uh i just wanted to check the bolt pattern and it is uh it's not the same so it's off this one's just a hair bigger the bolt circle is just a hair bigger so kind of wasted my money on that but this is only like 50 bucks so I figure it's worth the money to know if it was that size or not. But anyway, like I said, I need to figure out what I what I can get for this front cover because this front cover bolts to a 6L80 front cover bolts to the case just fine. So these bolts, these bolts that go on the top here, these bolts that go on the top here, bolt into the case. And then these bolts around the side here should bolt to the bell housing, but they don't line up. The bolt, it's weird. Like some of these are threaded. Like you look around, some of these are some of these aren't threaded. And then you look on this bell housing, and like this is threaded, you know, that one's threaded. This one's threaded. I'm like, well, why do both sides have threads on them? You know, it's the same size bolt, like the same size bolt fits in there. So I don't know. Something's weird. I looked up something wrong. I'm trying to do some research and figure out if there's another model like this or if this is the wrong one. But like I said, that's the part number that I'm using on this and it's not working. So obviously I think this is wrong or something else is wrong, but I'm also gonna try I want to try um, and see if a 6L50 bell housing bolts to a 6L90. So I'm going to try to track one of those down and figure and see if it uh, if it works. From what I understand, the 6L45s and 6L50s all have the same front or like the internals are pretty much the same. And then the 6L80s and 6L90s have similar um, internals as well, but I don't know if the two smaller trans fits if it's inter if anything interchanges between the two bigger trans if that makes sense so i'm gonna get a case or a, another bell housing probably 6l50 bell housing and see if it works on this probably doesn't if anybody knows for sure drop a comment below and i'll not waste the money on that but i would love to put the 6l90 in here because the gear ratios in this actually work out pretty good um, for this motor also you can probably see I'm working on a manifold flange here uh, it's kind of crude right now but uh, obviously work in progress but I'm working on this as well I'm trying to get this uh, trying to get that on there so I can make a turbo manifold so I will keep you updated on that as, as I make progress. That's a time consuming job. I don't recommend doing this because it's super labor intensive and it just takes a lot of time. Anyway, well, like I said, I just want to make a quick video, update you guys, let you know that I am working on this thing. That's a, that's power glide. I'm not putting that in here. 
So, um, yeah, just want to give you an update, figure out and show you guys what I'm working on, and I am trying to make progress. Also, I just got married like last weekend, so was not had a whole lot of time to work on this, and I'm planning on moving out of this house too. So I've been like packing up stuff and working on the move as well, as and trying to work on this when I got free free time. So uh, yeah, just want to do a quick update and let you guys know what was going on. If you guys have any questions or if you guys know more about this transmission stuff than I do, let me know and uh, I can go from there. So uh, thanks for uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys see you guys later.